Guys, we are back in Free Code Camp. We're doing the HTML and CSS section, as you can see here. Um, we are on waypoint 41. We're going to go to 50. Taking that focus factor, I highly recommend it. So a lot of CSS stuff has to do with padding and margins, and uh, it looks like that's what we're going to do right now. So, uh, your green box class, so let's look at our green box. Uh, we want to give it a margin of 20. Currently, if we look at our green box, it has a margin of 10. So what happens when we change it to 20? It's going to give us a little bit more padding, this around the edges, around the whole thing. So check it out again. 10, change it to, let's see what happens, 120. You can see right there, it's just massive. We'll change it to 20, and we're good. So that's one. Uh, your green box class should give elements minus 15 px margin. All right, so you can also do this as a negative. So here's our green box, and we'll do minus 15 px. And you can see right there, it gets rid of our. Let's go back to here. So 20. So what's going on here is we're going to minus 15 pixels around the whole thing and it should basically pop it out a bit cool run that that's two your green block slash should give the top of the elements 40 px padding so padding is basically Oh, well, you just see it. It's padding is great. Padding is almost the same as margin, except it it gives it a little bit more. So, uh, green box, we want to change the padding. All right, so you can do general padding. So padding, and we could do like 40 px, and that's going to be padding around the whole thing. But what we want is padding dash top, and you can see right there we added 40 pixels to the top, and then we'll, we want to do padding. That's right. Uh, Forty. So twenty px for the padding dash right, and padding dash left is forty px, and then padding dash bot that is twenty px. dash bottom oops and you see it's it's not designed to be on center but uh, that's how they want it to look cool so that was three I believe we're on four now I'm trying to do ten of these so I apologize I wish they had this numbered a little bit differently like maybe a number up here would be good so your green box class should give the top of elements 40 px margin all right so we want to for our green box give it a margin dash top 40 px so there's our 40 px margin and then uh, left elements so we want to do margin dash left and we want to set that to 40 px as well you can see it adds it on the screen and then we want to do uh, margin dash right and we want to do at 20 px and then we want to do margin dash left. And we want to do that 20px also. So I believe we did that all. Oh, so this is 40. Oops. And the bottom elements. Oh, I did that twice. God, I really wish they would have named this... Uh, It would have been so much better if they named it margin dash bot instead of bottom. I don't know why. Uh, but I believe this is our fifth one now that we're on. Uh, so, again, we're d working with padding. So, padding is kind of the inside, where margin is kind of the outside. Margin is how, where do we want the stuff in relative to other objects, or if you want to look at it that way, versus where do we want our specific object to have room. That's how I would think of it. So yeah, you know, the green box class should get the top elements 40px padding. Alright, so 
padding dash top and we'll do 40 px and then we'll say uh, padding dash right and we want 20 px and then bottom of the elements so padding dash bot tum 20 px and then padding dash left 40 px cool so that was five we're already halfway there uh, we're doing about one a minute so it's not too bad your green blocks class should give the top of elements 40 px of margin your green box class oh here it is so we we're doing margin again so margin dash top and we want 40 40 px margin dash right and 20 px and we'll do margin dash bottom 20 px and margin dash left 40 px that was six, I think. Uh, give you the body of them and background color. All right, cool. So uh, now we're just going to do some CSS. So we want to say, look, for the body, we want to, by default, have a background dash color of black. And there it is. So that was seven. Create an H1 element. All right, so create. I'll create an H1 element, not style an H1 element. So H1 slash H1, and they wanted to say hello world. So ch they want us to change the background color to green. There's our hello world. Give your body element the font family property of monospace. So we'll do, we're going to set the type of font by saying font dash family. And it's going to be, I believe we have to put this in quotes, monospace. Could be wrong. Actually, let's take away the quotes. I think I'm thinking of something else. There we go. Yeah, I'm wrong. All right, so monospace. And then we also want to inherit the font monospace from, so we can just put body h1. Actually, no. Uh, uh, it's going to inherit it by the way I was thinking we, we'd have to recreate it and then do body h1 because this still needs to be part of body so ignore what I said so uh, h1 element should inherit the color yep your body element the co give your body element the color property of green oh we can just do color Green. There we go. So they didn't want us to do the background color. They just want us to do color. I believe that was eight. Um, let's check real quick. So yeah. So we have uh, two more to go. Cool. So prior prioritize one style over another. So um, what they basically want us to do here is create a class. So with CSS, the more specific one, uh, so dot pink dash text, the more specific one is the one it's going to inherit from. And we'll then we'll say uh, color pink. And then we'll say h1 class equals pink dash text. And there we go. So, change it. Hello world. My bad color scheme. Pink and black. And last but not least, uh, we want to have your H1 element should have the class blue text. So, blue dot blue dash text. And then we want to say uh, color 
blue and what it basically wants us to do here is that you can actually set up two classes so maybe it inherits things you gotta put them in order so we want blue we want it to be blue so we need to do blue dash text but we still want it to inherit from pink text not that there's anything in there in theory now but there could be in the future so when we run it our text is blue but it's still oops it's still part of the pink text class as well. So that was our, our 10 examples, I believe 41 to 50. We did it's about 10 and a half minutes, so we knocked it out in about one a minute. There's about 70 of them. So we're on track to finishing it in about an hour and 10 minutes when it was, it said originally three hours. So great resource, free code camp. Um, check out the other HTML videos at Code Academy if you haven't seen it. And as always, comments questions concerns and anything constructive is always appreciated i love getting comments guys i really do i respond back to like 90 percent of them see you guys next time bye i just want to say thanks for um the likes and the comments letting me know if i'm doing good i'm learning um hopefully you're learning still this is a field we all need to be learning in and if i'm ever misrepresenting if I ever misrepresent something, because I'm like I said, I'm learning. Let me know, and if the videos you find them helpful, let me know. That that really um, goes a long way. So I'll see you guys as always in the next video.